Watching now late, or later, get in here along with Ricky. No need to shout. <laughs> and oh, welcome I... back to Slime Rancer <laughs> for the fourth time. It was supposed to be the third one, but yeah, because Singularity ended rather quickly, we did an extra, uh, a, a bit of a makeup stream after it to uh, well fill in the time so we wouldn't have ended this just after 30 minutes or so. Yeah, I don't know screaming. I made this thing and pick up my mic and then it close to me. <laughs> okay, last time we... Last time we unlocked the ancient ruins and the laboratory. And... Is the, Roma has it, Victor invented a plot cloning technology and then destroyed it. Okay, I'm guessing perhaps just to show off that he could. But uh, yeah, we unlocked the ancient ruins and the laboratory over there, which has revealed that we can make a lot of bunch of slime gadgetry. I actually have, have a theory. Hmm? You know you could, but realize it's a damn dangerous idea to do so. You ever tried to lasso a slime? Makes the whole backpack thing pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, this is old school. Okay, eight honey and one roast row. Okay, yeah. Now I look at the damn uh, John in a different light. Nope. 
Okay, I, my finger wasn't near escape. It was near pause, so I don't know why I did that. Okay. We've got another elder for the pool over there. Uh, yeah, in the ancient ruins we found a bunch of these things. They look like just decorations, but I've I've played enough games to know that uh, appearances can be deceiving. <laughs> oh, another elder. Oh. You stay here. Okay. And then these guys go here. So, yeah, today... Yeah, go on. I was just wondering if this pigment town is made by a person. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah, we also got off. We also got ourselves a boss for the elders and for our puddle slimes. But we, we are, we're going to have to test if those, uh, <clears throat> if if you can make logos with those or not. There's still a few types that we are missing. But for now, let's just head back to the Chris to the lab. To show off, and okay, we need to let, empty that out. Yeah, I think we might need to get rid of a few of these, just for how freaking much they produce. And well, the explosions don't help either. Since we have a little The idea of combining exclusive seems like the crystal slime. Sounds like uh, you basically make a biological weapon. Uh, maybe. Okay, here's the lab. This is basically our storage for everything. We'll throw plorts into here. Then we can use them here to make stuff, like this novice drill. I have no idea of what kind of stuff they might actually dig up. Didn't it? No, oh, it was this thing that I heard. Is it trying to really scan something? Wait, warp tech? Oh yeah, the, something that was in here. The, yeah, pink teleporters. Those can be. Those will probably be very useful for us. And these, da, 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 yeah. Hmm. And this is just for fun. <laughs> no, then uh, wait. The heck is that? Some sort of computer? Yeah, on the an underwater lab? Okay. Uh, for now, though, I'm guessing we're taking Johnny here with us. And actually, let's save up our money at the moment, because we need to open up the dock still. Wait, hold on. Who's Johnny? This one. It's... It gets freaking lonely out here, okay? <laughs> so I'm giving Pia some actual company for once. Actually, actually, in the worst case scenario, he will be a distraction. Okay, what's the radiation? Now, I might try to stuff a few of these into a corral with a net over it, just to keep them a bit more in line. No, no. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you get back here before you go steal someone else's plorts and ruin everything here. 
Then again, we we could probably take in a port from somewhere else and just have this place clear itself out by making tar. Oh, hello. Did Before I left the ranch, I found myself sleeping most nights in he in this here grotto. I'd fill uh, I'd fill it full of phosphor slimes and watch them dance in the dark, drifting off. I'd pretend I was drifting in a sea of in this in a sea of stars across the limitless black of space. It's funny how when you dream, you sure become a sucker for the impossible. Every time I woke to find myself back into Grotto, I'd feel a little sadness. But then I was back to work. And then went back to work. It was always something that did to me. <laughs> Again? Get back here, you. Hey. Back into the pool. I think we might have a few, an upgrade or two to add on. And yeah, I'm, I might turn, I might put up, oh wait, I already did turn that into a farm. Uh, I might turn both this one into a farm as well and put up scare slimes to keep them from eating whatever I plant here. Because if we're going to need splurge from every type of slime, we're going to need to build corrals for them. Yeah. And they are quite That's hungry. That's a decent price. Should be higher, and this will probably lower it. But we need something to sell to get the 5,000 we need for the docks. And Johnny can go join his friends. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, let's see, I think this counts as a vegetable and these guys, meat and veggie, yeah. So we're back in there, so ready to get sucked up again. Now let's see, we need pink slimes, we need rock slimes and we need tabby slimes. Because we have neither of those in storage here. Um, we have the honeys over there. And we shouldn't forget this. A roostro and a honey slimes. Uh, honey slimes are in the green. And the green... Hmm, I forget which of these teleports back here. And there's still a bunch of area that we haven't accessed yet. It'd be very useful if we could make notes on this map, which is something I hope they'll add in uh, Slime Rancher 2. Yeah, that would be helpful. <laughs> I could actually look up and see what the thing is about the Slime Rancher 2. Like it already really has a Steam page, I think. It doesn't? Yeah, it does have a Steam page already, I think. So Oh, so, I'll have to wishlist it there to get some more info on it. Uh, no need for the specific plorts at the moment. Hmm. And I forgot to look for upgrades, but oh well. Why am I not is st still one more key here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, we need we need another key to get into the end of the ancient ruins over there. So where the heck? Oh, oh, wait, it's a tabby over there. That's why we've been stockpiling chickens. I'd forgotten. I forgot the swine. Damn it, we. Oh, that was a gold slime when we had nothing to feed it. And that was a very sharp noise. <laughs> yeah. uh, tabbies are common enough. We need eight honey slimes. For a moment I thought... That... Okay, the, the sunshine on the rock there for a moment made me think that the f angry phosphor slime spawned in. <laughs> Okay, careful not to fall in. 
Okay, this will just be a quick back and forth for the requests. I don't much think that they are absolutely required. It'll still be... Uh, it still might be, prove a bit useful. And no idea why I went picking up those two specific pink ones, since we can find them literally everywhere. Okay, honey should be over this way. There they are. Okay, we just need eight of them. Oh no, I made a meme. Okay, there's another. We should have more than enough power to get to the other side. I'll take you along just as backup. Okay, for a moment I thought it was a lucky slime splatter there, but no, it's a tabbies. Okay, now as I was saying, we should have enough power to get over there now. So... Here we go. More than plenty. What is going to be over here? Okay, that would that looks a bit uh, which would I've, I've ever seen <laughs> any. What is? That's not on the map even. The heck is that? Have you ever been in love, Beatrix? Makes you feel uh, all achy inside, like a uh, day after your soul's been to the gym. That's the best way I can describe it anyway. It also realigns your thinking to something you swear is downright alien. All those things you thought really mattered suddenly don't. Change you entirely. Can't recommend it enough. <laughs> what? What? Hmm. Okay, I... If I recall correctly, we did buy... Mod Swat. Get lost there, you. Uh, we did buy the farm from Hobson. I think, so that would explain why he'd know our name. Otherwise, if we didn't buy it from him directly, that makes me wonder how he would know our name. Yeah, he is also missing. Yeah, he is, he is missing. I'm guessing the ancient ruins have something to do with that. Because he said he'd, in his notes, in, on, over there, he did say that he figured out something about it. Oh, I, I should not have made that jump. That could have landed me in the slime sea very easily. <gasps> and yeah, I did notice the note that was up ahead. Kind of hoping that there will be more honey slimes here. And I just heard a bunch spawn. Oh no, it's an angry one. I'm guessing this is the way you can go to get up to this upper area here, next to the teleporter. Ah, there are some honey slimes. Yeah, I'm kind of putting the request over their exploration at the moment. Okay, and eight. Okay. At least we know of the path now. The path of prophets. Or if you are a Warframe player, the path to Grofit. <laughs> you! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an in-joke with uh, Warframe because... Uh, yeah, an in-game character... Oop. Speaks at one point of uh, uh, basically it's one of those sell, uh, sales uh, pitches, and they go growth, profit, profit. <laughs> yeah, they, they they just mix growth and profits together. Okay. Okay. 
Let's chuck those in there. I think I accidentally fed one of them to the hunter slime. They haven't broken out yet, so technically I could probably throw in one or two more over there. I don't want to. Have we unlocked any upgrades so far equipment? I think we had, so we might as well check. Actually, no. Okay. No way. Yes, so. we have them all, or we have not them yet. Could be, yeah. Uh, maybe we, if we explore uh, the Verdant Green, if or it, no, I for how was it called again? The Moss Blanket. Okay, maybe if we explore there a bit more. We'll, uh, oh, we'll unlock something more. Ogden and Victor. Have you ever seen a Django's tiger? Of course not, you can only hear it. Pardon me, that was a joke. Okay. He wants quantum and rats. Okay. Actually, this might as well be a good idea to just quickly check the teleporters. Wait, these teleporters, this one and the one in the corner over here, those lead to the other ranchers. Oh, yeah, I gave you those. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, it's at the back here. Teleporter. But yeah, don't forget and to do your well. other things in the lab. Yes. Okay, we could have easily gotten here quickly enough you know, by just running, but oh well. Still a, a bit odd that the teleporter here goes... Actually, no, I ignore that. Uh, yeah, it does make sense that the portal on the left side leads to the area on the left side. Then this one over there on the cliff point, that should lead to somewhere in here. I think. Maybe I should print out a, a map or something and make notes on that. Well, that would be one way to do it, or the school. I was about to say that. <laughs> hmm. On that, uh, personally, I have... Yeah, it is a lot more ease of use to have a map that you can actually interact with. And uh, Hello, how do you... Fire flower ornaments. Okay, taking that with. Uh, it is a, a lot of ease of use to have a map that you can actually doodle on and such. Of course, people will just do stupid things with that as well. But uh, that's just a, <laughs> that's just the nature of humanity. If a dick can be drawn on it, a dick will be drawn on it. Yeah, I have to make one of my fake drawings once. You're not like Let's it. see. Oh, uh, hello. Okay, we... We've, how long have we missed that there's a path to the left there? <laughs> I thought we had to climb up somewhere. We've gone through here like four or five times now and still we missed that. Okay, let me... Yes, there we go. There's someone playing Factorio. Hello. Party Gordo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, e even well this, even when this game was still in early access, uh, I I figured out ways to basically get out of the map with the, the jetpack here. And I'm guessing they put him there just to make a Yes, yeah, have a celebration of that, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, let's get down and look through this place like we should. 
I can hit the motherfucker over here. Let's see. Tabby, we need you. Hello. Stone circle. And all the volunteers. Yeah. I think I'll mix up the... Oh, what the hell is that? that that's another treasure board. Seriously, how the hell are we supposed to open those? Okay, like I was saying, I'm going to be mixing the tabbies. I heard you too. I'm going to be mixing the tabbies and the rock slimes. And then I'll just stick uh, like 40 pink slimes in one corral. Because if you leave them alone long enough, they will start uh, working together to escape. It's <laughs> another treasure pod. That, that one was black. Is that of any significance? That's no longer. Keep a better eye on my energy. If I had been empty there, I would have dunked myself into the slime sea. Okay, full power, more than plenty. Uh, hello, honey hunters. Uh, honey hunters. <laughs> they were out. They're, they're angry. Okay, if you're going to be like that. Oh, you, we've never gotten that before? Okay. Several slimes. It's hard to be nice on an empty stomach. Their sources. Barrel slimes are largos with a mean streak that will attack a rancher on sight. It is not known what exactly causes a largo to become so grumpy that it goes feral, but it's suspected that they've simply gone on too long without a bite to eat. Like so many things with slimes, food is everything. If a feral slime eats, it will revert to a normal largo. Okay. But what we've read of the hunter slime is that all of their logos, no matter what they are mixed with, turn feral. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, it's not a good idea to to make logos with them. So even if we fed these things, they'd still be feral. Though I think, I'm guessing, let's see, what is the favorite of the hunters? Roostros, but they are mixed with honeys. So if we bought like a bunch of mint mangoes over here, we could get a bunch of hunter plorts as well. Ooh. Let's see. Feral slimes can pose a serious risk to ranches if they're not dealt with quickly or avoided altogether. Feral slimes will attempt to bite ranches at close range or jump in the air and try to stomp on them with their butts. In any case, a rancher needs to act fast and feed the feral slime something tasty to avoid such troubles. Feeding a feral slime um, not only calms it down, but also produces plort in the same manner as a logo. Though there are certainly easier ways to out there to acquire plorts. Okay. For now though, uh, ow, you grumps are going swimming. You can be game grumps somewhere else. Oh, more just spawn. Oh. It's a punch. <laughs> Or a pack? How do you call a group of cats again? Uh, I mean, if it's lion, it's the pride. Mm -hmm. What about the term cat or? Yeah. I see some hunter plorts. Um... I know. I know the term for a pack of. Uh, uh, the hunter booms. <laughs> oh God! Run! What are you say? I know the pack them with a bunch of bunnies and uh, uh, forty bunnies. And that is uh, for bunnies. It's a club of bunnies. And for a group of forty bunnies, it's. A pickle of porcupines. Yeah, okay, so that's what people mean when uh, being in a pickle. Yeah. <laughs> if I recall, also, 
Yeah, the most well-known uh, odd name for a group of things is for a group of crows, which is a murder. And <laughs> I forget specifically what animal it is, but there is one specific group of animal is when they're together is called a conspiracy, apparently. What? Yeah. Let's see, I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling this ahead. The land's all broken and twisted, and there's plenty of feral uh, flimes about... Flimes? Slimes about... Who won't see you? Who won't see coming before they blast you right into the sea? Keep those peepers peeled. Now. Is this? It is full of now. Hey, yo. Okay, is it going to recharge? Yes, it is. Let's see. Oh, that's that's a bunch of slimes that suddenly. Wait. Oh, we're on the other side here now. Okay. Wait. And that does also mean... Yep, we're back here. And there's another one of those black treasure pots. Hmm. So... What was there actually to find up there? There's still a... There's... Okay, that, I'm guessing this one up there is going to be that second uh, key for this place. Okay, so we need a bunch of chickens, a bunch of anything, so we can probably... Uh, yep, here. Okay. A bunch of chickens, a bunch of well, anything, so we can probably pluck our, the fruit and such from our trees. Get the orcas, you know, orcas yeah, as well. For now, Put you in there, and then the pinkies can go in here. And they'll be free to roam for now. Though there's already escape attempts. <laughs> they all find many of them getting in. Yeah. I could put up high walls, but there's nothing for them to eat here. So there's no danger of Lagos at the moment. Okay. Go up up everything. But how are you hungry when there's so much fruit lying around you, dummy idiot? I think one of the difficult things have a mint minimized explanation is good. But the requesting with the with the fruit alone is black instead. Okay. And here we have a case of a fruit that's gone old, it's a darker one. We suck it up, it's it just vanishes. Bye. Bye. I think I remember something about there being a uh, a blow, uh, an, an upgrade that where you can just automatically blow stuff away. But I, I might be misremem misremembering that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that one, but I can. I watched the, the access to one, so... Yeah. Okay. These plots are going for the sale. Probably sell a bunch of crystals as well. Um, down in price. These are up. 
Now, you could probably try to just game the system somewhat by storing something up and waiting for uh, the rich brat to give you hints on what it will sell next time, what will sell well next time, but uh, yeah, I'm not very too interested in that right now. It would probably take a lot of time. Yeah. Let's see. Africa. I get I get the feeling that either uh, our either Beatrix here is sending out emails uh, back to her or she is just answer sort of answering her own emails and changing the subject uh, title. Hmm. Let's see. Thanks, V. I never knew you felt that way. I picture you out there. Okay, so she is sending things out. I picture you out there on the on the safari, avoiding the clutches of lions on the savanna, riding elephants across raging rivers, and then as you sit under the sit under the stars at night, your weathered hand opens up a locket, and there's a picture of me inside. And then your local chimpanzee companion gives you a sober, knowing look. Is that accurate? <laughs> Well, for what it's worth, I missed you too when I was in L L.A. Yeah, that bar was just awful, but at least I got some stage time. Casey, P.S. The chimp's name was Colonel Bananas. <laughs> okay. That, that's probably as good a uh, confirmation at the moment that, uh, yeah, these two were dating. Let's see. Let's dump off a bunch of these. Because even if the price of these is low, 50 will still sell a bunch. 50. Yeah, that'll, that'll, we have enough for the, <laughs> for the docks with that. So before we go, let's grab our chickens. Or that Tabby uh, lar Gordo. I almost said Largo. There isn't too much of a difference other than the fact that they're stuck. Uh, any extra sacrifices here? Yes. Oh, and another elder. But we're a bit full right now, so Granny gets to stay with the family a little, little bit longer. This way. I heard the slime song. Yeah, that's the speaker that's doing that. And oh, I actually right. set this up. And uh, the hell are you? Do your people need you or something? <laughs> <laughs> I bet their people are down into the sea, not uh, here, <laughs> up into the moon. Okay. Uh, for a moment I thought that rock was carved like a slime, like we've seen so many already. <laughs> okay, a, uh, a puddle with a ducky even. Okay, we can move the puddle slimes here. And we have four new of these. And hello there. Hmm. Oh, careful. The view of the sea really reminds me of our greater purpose, Beatrix. The sea was the great, uh, the first great unknown, and then space, and then whatever is beyond all that. That need, uh, that need to see what's around the next corner is in my bones, and since you're out here, I reckon it's in yours too. Or I suppose you could also be out here because you find I like the fresh air, or you prefer the untamed beauty of this land, or maybe it's because you're looking to leave something far behind you. Sure is the way to do it. It doesn't get much further than this. Hmm. I'm often expecting a slime shot to show up or something, or a slime whale. Oh no, no! Let's see. We got T it was to, oh, to see this. Okay, so not every one of these circles is one where you can put something down. We can put down a bunch here, actually. Yeah, not as many crabs. But, yeah, we, when we 
<clears throat> when we start getting production of slimes and put those into uh, yeah, producing teleporters, we can probably make a quick little network to move around a lot more. Okay. The tabby is over this way, so we might as well go take a look if this might be enough to save it. We've already been feeding it a bit here and there. So, yeah, for, about 40 chickens should be enough to feed its big belly. Uh, just in case. Oh, yeah. And okay, we're going to need to get. Uh, we're going to need to get something to get rid of that uh, notification. Okay, on the way back, we can grab a bunch of stone slimes, rock slimes, to be accurate. Okay, you go on ahead. Oh, uh, did you? Okay. Oh yeah, there's. It's normal ones that spawn here. Okay. Okay, there we home. go. We stuck your face in chicken, the flying cat god. Yep. Wait, where did the... Oh, now we're over here. Okay, and that was not for the key, so that means that there's another Largo somewhere around here. Oh dear. Or another Gordo. Keep mixing it up a bit. We can put the cannon everywhere! Looks like it, yeah. I do wonder how many different colors of teleporter that we'll be able to make. Because it's probably going to be just a, a straight one-to-one -one link with each. And we can get rid of these as well. We'll see first if there's a... If the Largo over here is a carnivore or not. And I can't say if that's safe water or slime water. Let's not be. Yeah. Let's avoid it all the same. Okay, it's puddle slime, so it is safe water. Should be. Okay. What's in here? Okay, that tar sound startled me. And it just connects back. Okay. Just a whole bunch of nothing here, except for, yeah, a place to put down a teleporter or something. That's probably going to be the, the big thing that we'll be placing around everywhere. Or the most, the thing we'll be placing around the most. Okay, uh... <laughs> Suddenly the game turned into a first-person shooter for a second. Do you want to do music to this? <laughs> okay, that, that would be funny. <laughs> hmm. It seems like on the other island there isn't actually that much over here. I say that and then this. Okay, first the chicken. <laughs> then some potatoes to go with that. Chicken. And then the ornaments. Okay, just some key. And the key. Okay. I can find you everywhere. This I cannot find. Another fire flower. And what's up here? Oh! oh. <laughs> Help module. Nice! I, I don't wonder what is triggering the upgrades. 
Yeah, it could be time. It could be exploration. Yeah, I'm kind of willing to have to guess exploration. Yeah, I think I, I think it might be a mixture of both. But we'd have to get into the into the coding to learn which. Okay, nothing special here. I think the developers half expect you to uh, break out of the confines a bit. I say that, and specifically I find this that you can only find by getting up on the rocks there. Hmm. Okay. Anything here? No. Okay, so far these islands on the side have been a bit disappointing. Hmm. Another ornament. And then the nut. Okay, a sunflower ornament. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves some rock slimes. And here's a preview of what we'll be getting. Problem! Okay, yeah, let's hurry up a bit with making something in the lab so we can get rid of that freaking advertisement. Oh, Grab a bunch of these. We don't think we really have much of a big need for money anymore, except for maybe buying blueprints. Yeah. Back. Welcome back. My mother called me over. What will happen? I had to explain to her that, that I see. <laughs> okay. So yeah, she she, she, she said, said uh, bless you and stuff, but yeah, I agree with you. That was a damn loud sneeze. I can understand why she got concerned. <laughs> Wait, did you hear me sneeze? Yeah, I heard. I think I did. <laughs> Go back, cat explosion. <laughs> okay, you grumps. I'll I'll feed you in a oh, second. Just a hungry grumpy feed. I guess you should say they are hungry. Eh, not yet. Let's see. Okay, novice pump, novice aviary, resources from wild bees. We don't need a bunch of pink slime lords and rock lords. So let's see, you guys veggies. Actually, that was a bit of a bad idea because they are going to go largo. Like that. Oh, and no. That's a kind of good. Oh wait, yeah, that means they could jump out. You're already mixing up. <laughs> No, no, you are not. You are not freaking Sonic the Hedgehogging me, Biggie. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a good. I'll leave them be for the moment, though. I'm going to put a wall on these guys because we need to keep them separated unless they go uh, tar. We're two coins short of putting high walls here as well. Of course we are. Of course. Uh -oh. I want you to beat them. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Actually, uh, pink slimes have no favorites. The tabbies want... These guys want the heartbeats that we've been growing and really been neglecting. So we might as well start up a farm for those over there. And yeah, the, the pink slimes we can feed with basically anything that's left over. From uh, any of the other farms. Oh. 
Um, let's see what you have to see, Eminem. Need these plots post hate, whatever that means. Okay, simple. Yeah, that we should be able to just finish right off. Yeah. Uh, for now, uh, Granny can stay for a bit more. Uh, yeah, this is what the stone, what the tabby's like. Roly poly dummos. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll use oh, I'll use this one on the side here. I thought there was another one there. The garden. There go. And I really shouldn't make any more Largos whilst they can still get out. I'll do. They are escaping, they are escaping. Okay. Uh, I should not have done that with everything full. What the? Okay, well. As long as the pink ones can't get through it, we should be safe ish. But that does mean that we're going to have to store this for a moment. And yeah, we're going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to sell out every, all of the plores that we have. Since uh, yeah, yeah, it's not going to be too much use to keep pouring those up. And just let me check something for a moment. Uh, voice settings. Okay, I thought so. Uh, apparently, I've been playing the game audio over both this, my uh, earbuds and the computer speakers. So there might be a bit of echo there. Oh. Though the the audio on the speakers is rather low because I've lowered the vo I've lowered the volume that the sound is coming out uh, at minus uh, 18 decibels. But, uh, yeah, I forgot to just turn that off. There we go, more than plenty. Let's see, what is it? Boom, rock, and uh, phosphor. I maybe should not have put them in this thing here, where I have to go past every time. Should be more than plenty that we need for now. Uh, so let's just give these guys their food. So hopefully they'll be a bit less uh, grumpy. And that goes in there. It won't get the double, but it'll still uh, get something out of them. Okay, Phosphor. And we might as well grab a few rats for the storage. And again, they seem to be just forgetting to eat something. Yeah. Um, fruits and veggies, so these guys will be safe here for a bit. They'll likely only get played around with. Actually, yeah, that. Oh, I just realized I could plant uh, 
I could I could put up gardens uh, of things that the, the slimes there don't eat. Like these only eat fruits and veggies, so I would be safe putting coops in here because they have no interest in eating them. And with uh, with largos that have eat only uh, fruit and uh, veggies, I could put down fruit trees. Oh, they're a bit low. A bit of a low harvest this time. But then again, they seem to be being idiots and just not eating. I buy two. The rest can go in there. Actually, no, these are going into the storage there. Um. Probably best if I just finish up uh, with this request first instead of getting distracted. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh well, I'll get those later. Okay. Hopefully no tar. No tar. Okay. I probably put way too many of them in here to all contain them as Largos, but we can just throw out the ones that... Uh, ow. Actually, let me just suck up a bunch of all of the tabbies. I feed the big ones days. They'll start repro they'll start uh, reproducing on their own. So I'll, I'll chuck these over there for the moment and grab the ones that we need. There. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, don't really need. Wait, is that a lucky slime? No, it was just, it was a tabby slime without its <laughs> ears and tail rendered in. Okay, the rest, here. And air nets, Lord Collector, and... Let's not do the music box just yet. Uh, we will do it here. As well as these things. No need for a solar shield because they're not phosphor slimes. So yeah, phosphorus... The solar shield gets uh, unneeded real quick. Once you open up the grotto. Might as well put... I, I didn't notice you following me. Little uh, wannabe hunter slime. Give me that. Okay. Cats leave these alone. Heartbeats, kitty. Okay, we just need ten of these to make something. Okay. There we go. Now we should finally be able to get rid of that. Barricades. Onward to science. Okay, so I just have that immediately. You're missing one, uh, two, uh, things, I think. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure we pulled in more. I think I'm pretty sure we put in more than ten. We were carrying fifteen there, so I think we have one in storage now with the the, yeah, the one over there. Let's see. Learn more. Nature is a treasure hoarder. <laughs> okay. Extractors are a special class of slime science gadgets that are essential for building all other types of gadgets. Extractors include drills, pumps, and APRs. Once placed on a build site, an extractor will begin working collecting resources for the environment, from the environment over time. Once it is full of resources, an extractor can be emptied. The best extractors can repeat the cycle multiple times before they finally break down. Each extractor can find exclusive resources if used in the correct zone. Pumps can find a special resource in the dry, in special resource in the dry reef. Drills can find in the quarry, apiaries in the blanket, and all can find something special in the glass desert. Glass desert. I think that's where those big bones were, and I missed a smudge on my glasses. There we go. Did we both just clean our glasses at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> From the sounds of it, yeah. Let's see. No, we, we, have, have, we haven't. We haven't opened. We haven't found the glass desert yet. Okay. Oh. Uh, Semi spoiler, I guess. Hmm. Sounds short. Okay. Uh, what we have is a drill, so we want to use that in the quarry. Oh, you made one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, it's the 82 days, but you have left. Okay, I, I'm thinking we could put down teleporters to each of those areas in here, since there is a good amount of these spots. So, uh, yeah, we can easily go back and forth to uh, those places. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, let's see. Is there any type of slime that we don't have in custody at the moment? We have pink, we have rock, we have phosphor and red, we have hunter, we have crystal and boom, we have water, who we need to relocate. We have honey and quantum. Let's see, let's go down the list. And also clean this up. Pink, rock, phosphor, tabby. Red, honey, boom, water, crystal, quantum. Hunter. And I think that's from Lucky Slimes. And we, we have to find this one still. And those three as well. Maybe that was the gloss tester. Perhaps. For now, let's keep the pool here just for the elders. But we'll move the puddle slimes. Okay, back into the pool, you'll. <laughs> bounced out. Oh, man, the elder, eh? That's not I my report, they're so buoyant. Okay, let's go put these where they deserve to be. Yeah, not that way. Yeah, this way. Yeah, we, we, we can turn the laboratory in a bit of a portal on. That, were, that one's one teleporting just now. Oh, and those two are hungry. And yeah, these ports are going into the storage. Oh, we don't have room for those. Okay. You two are getting the special treatments. 
Oh, wait, didn't I put a feeder on this thing? Ah, oh, there it is. There we go. Just our special guests. You stay in there. And yeah, they really want those plorts. So, let's just... Let's just get rid of these out of precaution. Don't we have an automatic collected arrow? Yeah, but just in case one of them phases into it. Quantum. It's just boing, boing, boing. I wonder if there's an upgrade to get a, a fifth uh, slot on our backpack. Why are you hungry when there's so many freaking mangoes here? Eat up, dumbass. Yeah, slimes. They are full of slime and not much brain. Okay, let me double check. They want fruits, so we could we could plant veggies safely around here. And well, chickens as well. Oh, your treasure tracker. Okay. Above the climb. Yeah, we're getting that. Uh, we need chickens for the... No, we got, we already fed that one. There's two pink uh, gordos that need to be fed. Okay, how much is it costing? 750 for that one. 450 for that. I should have expected it to be pricey. No. Uh, these are good price at the moment. Uh, not good enough. And not good enough either. Okay. Just to get to you to shut up, you need to activate, install. We can even turn you around a bit, okay. Science class pass. That covers the basics of slime science. To learn more, check out the new slime science section in your Slimepedia. It's loaded with handy info. You think okay. you are... Yeah. Yeah, I, I have to say, I wouldn't mind, uh, like, a, a pin or something from this game. I heard something fall there. Okay, this will be more than enough to get that freaking upgrade. I, th I think those crystal boom slimes have made us the most money out of everything. Maybe the... Uh, actually, maybe the phosphor rats will have been a, a good competition for them. Yeah, maybe it's been having a quite good timing when to send them. Okay. Seems I forgot to put rock plorts in that thing. So let's see if there's any uh, left over here. <laughs> exactly two. Okay. And we're putting this in there. And yeah, we're also going to need money for all of these things, so might as well start. What is with these drones? A help bot can be programmed to buzz around your ransom and perform a variety of tasks. Hmm. Let's get that to see what it might actually do. And okay, these the cats are getting grumpy with me. Of course you are. Okay. Uh, yeah, of course they are, not you, eh? <laughs> okay. Here's your stuff. 
Oh, phase lemons. We haven't we haven't gotten our hands on these before. Uh, let's see. There no. are, are fruits. Yeah. And we should probably grow them. Yeah. Oh, another elder. And more elders. Uh, we're not going to need this one anymore. So let's just collect up the harvest. Uh, remove crops, yes. Okay. Fruit cocktail. Let's see. And that is for... Have three different fruit trees on the ranch at the same time. Okay. Okay. I heard a mechanical noise here. Oh, oh no, it's this thing making the noise. Okay. Um, chickens in here. Collect the elders. Okay, now we're just going to need to get as much stuff as we can get it our hands on. I'm it's like freaking, I like skipping freaking stones. Yeah, yeah, it's... Can we compare that with the stone? Okay. Let's see, we have no mail, we have a, a key. That we can use at the uh, ancient ruins. Okay. It's going to fill up with these. Okay. Actually, forgot to buy that one. Yeah, we got distracted again. We should still have plenty of plorts from these guys here. And actually, now that I think about it, those drones, we might actually be able to use those to automate things. Like, maybe we can program them to take the fruit from one place and bring them to the, one of the coral feeders. Like, you have any issues Yeah. Like putting them in the in these automatically. I'm guessing. I'm slash hoping. That works. That'd be awesome. Hopefully, this will be enough to get us back up to that amount. I can't get up to die when those slimes are there yet. That should be about 1500. And yeah, we have enough now. Five minutes. Um, I wanted to double check the pen there. Don't forget the upgrade. Yeah. And it said, let you bypass the lock on basic uh, treasure pods. So that must mean that there's an... Uh, yeah, that probably the black ones are more advanced ones. They're missing green and purple in the back. Putting you in there for a moment, so we can actually put these guys in there instead. So, there, the hunter gets a treat. 
and can hear the scream of cacophony through there. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be interested at the moment. It's just happily bouncing around. <laughs> yeah, it was looking right at it and ignored him. I need to wait for it. Or something like that. Okay, let's see. We can feed these to the tabbies. Uh, <clears throat> to the tabby rocks. And then we can go collect up our... our Every, all of our food stuffs. And yeah, these guys are just going to stay <laughs> uh, jealous. Okay. Not done growing. Uh, yeah, there should there should be plenty of harvest over here. If not, we'll go check out uh, the overgrowth on the other side of the ranch. I wonder if there's too many of them. They're pretty moving. See if I throw one of these out. Okay, yeah, they might be glitched. I'm. A few of them are happy. It's not important to not have a deep army of them being uh, free roaming like this. Okay, and I can't just chuck you out through the roof. Okay, we might have to do some planning again at some point. Uh, hello, little escapee. Taking that. Actually... Mm. That's going to miss. Yeah. I'm not going to take those out just yet. I'm just going to... Okay, I'm just going to grab up as much food as possible so we don't have to go around again for both of those Lagos. Like, a hundred should be plenty for, well, both of them hopefully, but still better to be uh, sure than to be running around again. Yeah. So no need for a scare slime here. I should probably put this thing oh, wrong side. I it's, uh, the low thing. since it's only two in there. I the only thing. I uh, what area? Uh, never mind, I think I saw one that to be doing on right now. Yeah. Bad. Now, I don't think I can actually aim it, but still. Alright. We have the pink one uh, up there. And where was the other one? And now the other one was up there, I think. I don't think we managed to feed it fully. We'll have to see when we find them or not. Thank you. I do gotta wonder though, is there any reason for this here? I I spotted something over behind the rocks there. Hello. Like there is something over there, but that is we've been there before, I think.
thought I'd set my phone to be a, the stream manager, but apparently it deactivated, even though its battery is still full. Okay. This will be for the party, Gordo. And then we'll see what is left for the other one. So... Oh. Just a check. Hello, uh, honey. Uh, and an angry. Bye. Yeah. The heck? Royal jelly? Wild honey. Okay, now I'm curious. Okay, tossing those out for the moment. Royal jelly, the king of all jellies, that is, until you meet the queen. Okay, and this is... Slime science material. Royal jelly is a rare resource obtained with an apiary. The royal jelly found in the hives across the far, far range is special as it is unnaturally sweet compared to other varieties. <clears throat> it is believed that this is the result of bees collecting small deposits of slime from honey slimes by working it into their royal jelly mixture. If a rancher is lucky enough to acquire some, they will find its unique properties are very valuable in certain slime science endeavors. Okay. Yeah, we're keeping that. And wild honey tastes great in tea or in shameful <laughs> handfuls when no one is looking. The third common resource, all the rich pollen and sweet nectars found in the forest of the moss blanket combine in a beautiful alchemy to form some of the most delicious honey in the galaxy. Wild honey is this, a staple of rancher life, a dollop of it make, makes uh, just about any food taste better, and it provides a natural boost of energy to get through a tough day of wrangling snipes. Okay, yeah, we it's obvious which of those is the more valuable one that we're taking with. I need all of them for one reason or another. Yeah. For now, though, we are going to be uh, well, feeding a party guest. So I, I guess we are the guest to the, its party. Okay, we charge for a moment. And there we go. Wait, you you, you fill up fast. But... <laughs> okay, that was fast. And you thought slimes couldn't get any more awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, chuck those hard. out. Is that a party music? Yeah. Okay, get back here, you. Never mind you then. Oh, I need to smash you, not. Oh, dump you. You. Oh, can they turn into normal slimes. <laughs> Party slime ornament. At least that one is worth taking. Nope. Oh. Oh. Um. Game time thinking the gold one. <laughs> okay then. We found a tele the the last one should be over there, I think. Or oh, wait, moss blanket, still one more. Did we miss it perhaps? There's the last party slime. Actually if we feed that thing a plort, will it stay will it keep the party thing? We'd need to feed we need to feed one of the tabbies something. Oh. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay. That and then you No, it reverts to a normal one. Oh well. That that would have been <laughs> that would have been cool to have a party largo. Yeah, wait, did you screen... did you screenshot it? 
Uh, actually forgot to. What are we to do with you, William? Go and do we... Are we going to recharge? <laughs> mm, yes, we are. Show off. Okay, can we get on top of this? Yes, we can. Might there be something there? This is... Oh, that's a that's an invisible wall. That's an invisible wall. Oh, okay. We we could have ended up in the slime sea there. Okay. Now just quickly look around. Where's the ferals? They can be invisible. Remember that. Yeah, but their eyes are still sight. There. Oh. Oh. Okay. A hunter gordo. Go catch a ledge. Reach for the energy retreat charts. Sneaky little guy. Uh, Ow. <laughs> uh, now we need meat again. Okay, is there. There's chickens. Put that down. Can we get. We need to get closer. And it fell in. Okay, come on. Any chickens? I hear chicken. That's not a chicken. Uh, it's purring. And I don't think we've seen up here. It sounds like there's chickens here. Yes, there is. Okay, then. A tabby and a rock. Okay, hello there. Okay. Now, we'll have to start looking around again for all of the treasure pods. To see what valuables they are hiding. Yeah, but preferably when you don't have, uh, yeah, full backpack. Yeah. Okay, this is just short. <laughs> okay, can we feed you just normally from here? Yeah, there we go. Now it's on the map. Little bandits. I was half expecting this to be a plot, uh, a plot where we could place down a teleporter. I hope we can also remove. I hope we can pick those up again afterwards. I don't think this game will have a boss fight, except if it's uh, to feed a one gi gigantic Gordo. Like an emperor, an emperor Gordo? Could be, yeah. Ow. Luckily, we have a lot of health. Now that I didn't mm. expect that to be one. Is that something down there? No, it's just scrap or trash. Okay, there's one of those black ones that we pointed it out earlier. Keeping an eye out for any pods. Slang trying to jump scare us. And this thing is done. Okay. Do you have to give a bunch of that? Okay. Jelly stone. It's both solid and squishy at the same time. 
Common resource, semi-hardened mixture of minerals and slime, possibly resulting from plorts sinking back into the earth below. Because of its softer texture, it's a favorite stone for sculptors. Okay. No. Solid um, in the let's say... What? These guys are getting impatient. I do wonder what we'll be able to build with that. And also this thing. Deep brine. Salt of the earth kind of stuff. And hexacomb. And something else. Okay. Might as well instantly deposit it. Strange diamond. Let's see. Bee stuff and geometry. The chocolate and peanut butter of nature. <laughs> okay. Hexacomb is an uncommon... Hexacomb is a result of bees arranging buzz wax into complex patterns to store their honey and eggs. Where the hexa hexa hexagonal shape... Bees understand that the hexagon is the shape of the future. Bees were sci-fi before it was cool. <laughs> deep brine. To the not safe for drinking, deep brine is thought to be water from the slime sea that has been filtered by the subterranean coral of the dry reef. It is significantly, significantly denser than fresh water and loaded with salt. AKA, don't drink that stuff. We have one more the diamonds. Where is it? See, am I being blind? Chickens, base stuff. Where? Okay. You know, There's still two, two things missing here. Without that. Oh, there well, it is now. now. Okay, it wasn't unveiled for some reason because I. Possibly because this, the pop-up wasn't gone yet. Very strange, but even more valuable. Strange diamonds are a very... Even in the dark, these diamonds seem to shine as if light is passing through them. Strange diamonds are highly valued for their use in a variety of warp tech processes. Being almost impossibly dense and intricate in their composition, a strange diamond can reflect light within itself so profoundly that it actually bends time. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing those things are re required for teleporters. Uh, med station might not actually be too useful because we regenerate pretty quickly. Um, hmm. I'm guessing we'll get better upgrades there over time. Let's see, utilities, drones. Okay, that doesn't really say much. Decorations, curios. Curios are a class of slime science gadgets that, while functional, are not necessarily useful. Curios include toys, games, and other gimmicky gadgets that can be a great time with an equally great imagination. Okay. <laughs> Craft curios in order to make your slime ranching a little sillier, which is the best kind of slime ranching, to be honest. Well, so we need to get that ball of yarn over and throw it to our uh, rock tabbies. Yeah. Okay. It, I'm not sure why I didn't go towards this, but oh well. Drones are a highly useful gadget that can reduce some of the work a rancher needs to perform on the ranch to keep things from running smoothly. Once you've built a drone, simply give it a program using three simple inputs. Target, what the drone is looking for on your ranch. Source, where the, you know, the drone gets it to target. Destination, where the drone takes it to target. Okay, so, yeah, we could use these things to automatically feed uh, our slimes. Nice! If you, give, if you give a drone an impossible task, or a drone simply cannot complete their task presently, it will go idle. A drone can run for about a day before it will return to its station and must be powered up again. Simply give it a refreshing blast of water to recharge it. Okay. A drone can only work on your ranch and will only work within the ranch expansion in which you place it. Sometimes a drone will overfill an autofeeder or silo due to a bug in their software. 
the Z7 Corporation insists this bug is a feature. <laughs> oh, we need quite a bunch for that. Oh. And yeah, like I thought, pink teleporters need diamonds. All right. So yeah, if we built one of those, we could have it move these to the rock tabbies. And no, you do not want these beats. Might as well move these over into that. Bit eager, are we? <laughs> They're just chasing me, aren't they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congratulations, you've joined the prison camp. Alright then. So, we, we have we one more happy. of those here. Yeah, the pink rocks aren't happy, yeah. Yeah. Now you don't feel brain, you just don't have to mess. Let's, let's set up a quick on, garden. And there. The cats will leave that alone. And we can use it to feed the, the pinks. We might, yeah, it might be an idea to rethink some of our combinations to where they only eat like a specific thing so that we can grow it at and we'll grow other things in the area that they won't have an in interest in. Yeah, could be a good idea. Let's see, Victor again. If possible, please acquire the following for a future study. Thanks. Okay, puddle, rock, and pink. Okay. Let's actually take a moment to look for that other treasure pod around here. Oh, and this. Slime fossil. If history could smile, it would look like this. There's actually a smile in there. Prize three ancient minerals they contain. Slime fossils are like nature capturing a moment in time. Uh, specifically, the mo that moment seems to be when a great avalanche or a mudslide occurred and the slime was totally gone with it. <laughs> I need to fill up on that and just dump it in those in there for the moment. The house are dealing with the chickens. An extra sacrifice. Actually, we might as well gather up our farms over here. Yeah, they'll be fine with the normal ones in there. And we have another elder. And oh, we don't have a rooster here. You sit tight for a second. You are safe from the Hunger Games. Okay. Still not many chickens, though. Do we still have some in storage, or did we pluck all of those out? We plucked all of those out. Yeah. You, Except for the backup roosters. Yeah, and many of them you had, you... You set them yes. free. <laughs> you set them free, you will take of them. Now, not that many, and uh, actually you already have two in here, so you can go back into storage. Uh, it, it might be better to have two roosters. Nope, in the game. To speed up the breeding. Okay. Let's see, ranch. There's one of those still somewhere here. Actually, I think it might be right around here. And this, it counts as the dry wreath, where we found all of the keys. 
Though I'm not really interested in finding them at the moment. What is the priority now is getting... Uh, actually... Hunters prefer roosters. And I think a rooster just got eaten. <laughs> uh, well... Yeah, every rooster we find we're grabbing up. Any rooster that survives long enough to be grabbed, that is. Uh, actually, yeah, let's just go with normal chickens, because yeah, I, I think it's only that it, they fill up twice as much. So, yeah, ten, ten hen hens is going to uh, be better than one stupid little rooster. Let's see. I'm going, mostly going through this place now to actually do a bit of a check. And how did you survive this long out here? Uh, oh, I need even more. Yeah, I'm, I'm going around now to double check which areas still have keys for us to find. And we have about 20 minutes left. And then, yeah, next time we'll get started with a bunch of those extractors and stuff to get those research items. And, hmm. yeah, we'll have to look around in the ancient ruins even more. See, there's still something here, but that is the big one over there. So we might as well go and feed it. And a stone. There was another pink slime. Uh, there was another pink gordo somewhere. There should be briar hens around here somewhere as well. For some reason, my eyes are starting to tire real quick. Same here, actually. I have been a bit of a stiff neck today. Hmm. Now, I doubt we are old enough to be of the age where our bodies start uh, aching at the changing seasons or something. Oh, hello, free treasure pot. Actually... Amber Slime Lamp. Oh, okay, so not all of these will be giving items, they'll be giving blueprints. Okay, that is that is a good reason to start hunting these things down. Very nice. And then what's that? Oh, yes, a hundred time. Then all the more reason for me to... Oh, remember I thought the tar music started up. All the more reason for me to print out a map so we can keep a track of where the ones that we've used uh, are, or the ones that we've opened. Probably should have tried making some sort of note of where the ones we've seen uh, are. Very well. Water isn't going to calm these down. So we'll just have to chuck you into the sea to be rid of you for the moment. I saw you. Okay. Bit of parkouring. Well, hello. Separate area. We'll have to see if there's a way to get there. I think it's not a tree, but it looks like a hand holding a twig. Okay. It probably isn't going to be enough. Yep. Oh well. At least we've gotten a good start on it. 
Uh, that one there? Yep. Let's see, is there... If we are going to try for that, is there any, going to be any way for us to actually get back as well? Hmm. I'm not going to risk it with an inventory full of fruits, or half an inventory full of fruits. Yeah, I'm not worth it. Did I see the little wildlife birds? Yeah. What do you mean they didn't look like flying stingrays? Nope. Bye. Bye. Yeah, these guys aren't so sweet anymore. Yeah, they've, they've yeah, gone pretty sour. I swear, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting, getting more and more into fun things to do. That, of course, I'm an uncle now. <laughs> uh, oh, not jumping that. Not jumping that with 33 power. Yeah. Um. Now they're trying to sneak attack me. Oh. Boing. And yeah, that crunching boing. noise is them taking a bite. That was quite a loud one. Yeah. <laughs> Just a happy pair of eyes and a mouth. Okay. Will this be Baby. enough for you? Nope. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Hey, yeah, you realize that one is not trouble change you, we are all those. Yeah. Okay, careful with my power. Something jumped at me there, and that's we went in here before, it's a dead end. Oh, there's a pool of uh, several hunters. Okay. I just remembered that at the the ruins there's also a, la a rock largo. So we'll have to... Actually, Oka Oka's here are vegetables. We could feed those to it. Another rock largo, alright. Yeah. Okay, does double checking that on that one. Yeah, you're on the chicken. Need... Actually, let's go this way backwards. Because we can get to the ancient ruins and then we can use the map there to check if there's anything or how many gordos there's supposed to be there. All right. Another one of those. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to print out a map and start scribbling on that. Oh, and before I forget, something I learned recently, that's what the video with the later. Uh, don't have this if you're trying to eat for the summer tasty, can you? The not bread. Okay, that's a new one. Yeah, and I, yeah, tar, so we're bolting. I, I have known that it, we did eat a lot of uh, blood food in the park if you well but it if you everything as as much as possible. Wasted on a spot and all that. But yeah, I'm still surprised how much the ancient Scandinavians ate about just blood. Or well, made okay. portions, not from blood. Okay, just a bit of an obvious pun. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of these chickadees spawned out of here. Uh, so I guess you could call that a baby shower because they landed on us. I think I broke it, Andrew, here. 
Yeah. No. Okay, Listen up. Put my hands around your neck. And why am I choking my mic again? I get a joke at the mic up with a little pink on neck I can show. Besides my own. Yeah, just don't break it. Yeah. Okay, there's two Gordos in here that have keys. There might as well be... A, there's probably a third one that has a, a, a teleporter on, on its ass. Uh, now it's not a word that one of the Gordos here will be one that teleports around. And the Echo here. Oh. Mm. Yep, a echo. I'm not going to open. Wait. Okay, there's pipelines filled with slime. Okay. I'm not going to open those pods yet because I don't have anything. No, I don't have room to carry it. And we've been here before. There's nothing there. It's safe. For people who weren't around on uh, Thursday, these are the ruins, and with those switches you open up something and you close something. Like that is blocking that downstairs now. And this leads back to the main area. And this place is my... This place is probably going to be annoying to explore fully, because we're always closing off somewhere. We still need to test if water slimes can be Largos. That leads back down there. Hmm. But yeah, what, what we're looking for is to get at the very back of this. Because there's a gourd over there. Though I just remembered where, the way we got to it, we were facing its back. And that's a quantum kitty. A quitty. And oh okay, boom. Okay, it wasn't a it wasn't a rock, it was a boom slime. How do we get in there then? And yeah, the yellow slimes are the quantum slimes. They'll just shimmer, be impossibilities. And wait. I think one of the Gordos was at the very end of this lane here as well. So maybe we did find both of them already. have to see that okay two closed doors no switch in sight hmm. anything there's something over there and there is a switch Now that's going to open up both. And yep. Straight line to the end. Let's not fall in. And... Uh, what was it again with you? Yeah, we... Lucky slime, and we didn't have any meat with us, so no lucky plorts. We have meat. Got 
dumb. I'm just, I'm just being stupid for her. Oh well. We haven't seen this one before, I think. The ghostly face lemon trees that you may have seen were a real head scratcher for me for the longest time. I kept dreaming about an ice cold glass of lemonade on the long summer days I spent exploring these ruins. Delicious stuff. But here's the trick: if you want those lemons, you are going. To, you know, you've got to be willing to part with a fruit of your own. Give it a shot. Okay. Because we haven't seen any of them bear fruits. All of, all of the ones we've seen so far have been empty. And there's Tar. We'll have to find one then. And try it out. Oh, that's a yes, you yes, should shoot a fruit in front of the fruit tree. Yeah. Oh, and that was a Tar that went boom. Ah, here. Okay, this opens that. And it opens that. Okay. So what's behind here? More advanced press. Cracker is needed. Okay, just a way back. That doesn't answer how we're supposed to get to the front of that boom slime, though. Okay, space for a teleporter, most likely. Here's it. Here's one of the trees. Okay, yeah, it turns them into it. Does that mean that for our own face lemon tree, we'll need to throw, uh, we'll need to shoot things into it as well? I'm sure we'll let our own actually grow them. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, it grew. We, it grew a few of them. So yeah, it will just do that. Uh, teleporter on the other side there, and last time we were here, yeah, a door. Let's see what's behind this thing as we near the end of the stream. <laughs> okay. No singing rainers. Okay, I'm guessing these need quantum plorts. I see. Let's see. What do you have to see? The ruins used to be some kind of warp station used by whoever created it to connect to one of the most distant corners of the far, far ranks. Be careful, Beatrix. Once you cross over, you'll be in truly untamed territory. Though beautiful, the other side can be an unforgiving place. That means that he's been there and came back again. I'm guessing this is the finale then? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So, I'm guessing we could end the game by filling that thing up with uh, well, quantum ports. You might not be in the end. Hmm? You said unforgiving place and he has to back and forth from there. What yeah. Could is the glass desert? It could be, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, wait, what the heck? Okay, I never zoomed in far enough for this to see. The heck is that? Is that the glass desert? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I probably could have gotten a lot more chickens if I dropped one of these to just fill it with normal chickens. Hmm. Okay, let's... Two slime... Let's stay a little bit longer and see if we can find uh, the front of that boom gordo. And perhaps that other slime as well. What's over here? Is there a way out? Okay. There, there is also this door here. What are you hiding? Okay. 
you move that and that over there. Do we have any key or switch that has sights on that other door? Do you perhaps? That controls the same one as that. That one. This one opens that as well. Okay. We saw that move there. So... Activate that again. They close. But if I press the lower one here... It closes that as well. Hmm. Okay. Though this is open so we can f drop in. So, close that. Now it should be open on the other side. So, we just see one of the rocks <laughs> teleport around. Okay. Let it recharge. And then we can safely drop down here. To find nothing. Really? Come on, you'd expect to at least find something. Well, that's the thing. Oh, that was an anticlimax. Yeah. Don't let me in. But... Okay. Was that just a tease by the developers? Or is that actually moving? Each of these uh, gates are usually... Oh, nope. I forgot to wait for the recharge. A bunch of those gates block two passages. So, could there be another passageway that's being blocked by that uh, gate? Like, it move, it's moving down. What is it blocking if... Is there another passageway underneath here? I'm sure. I don't know I'm getting very bleachy. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we can't fall down further than that. So, yeah, I have no idea. Actually, I, I was going to walk all the way back. We can just use the freaking teleporter over here. Uh, yeah, that will be smarter. And hopefully we'll be able to figure it out when we have a bit more... ...refreshed brains. Yeah. Okay. So, we have an unknown Gordo. We have a Boom Gordo, who will only eat vegetables. <clears throat> but we need to find a way to it, its front because, well, we can't very well shove all those vegetables up its ass. We have the hunter there. We haven't been in the quarry for some time. So before we end, I'm just going to rush over here to the teleporter to see if there's a cord that we've missed over there. And in the meantime, these guys continue to be the dumbest lights on the Christmas tree. Maybe you should put them in a pen. Okay, there is... There is one over here somewhere. Okay, so we have... Two here, one here... And one here. And then... Whatever else is over this way. Hmm. And we have the pink one over there, I think, still. Okay, so that's about five Gordos that still need to be fed. Hmm. 
But yeah, that'll have to wait for next week or if we need to go for another filler stream, which I find unlikely because next week we'll be starting with Darksiders. And yeah, we'll be mixing that in with another uh, Dark-ish uh, game to alternate between so we aren't just doing Dark Shadows 1, Dark Shadows 2, Dark Shadows 3 all in a row because, well, we get a bit tired of the same gameplay over and over again. Yeah. So, oh yeah, we forgot about this. Oh well, that'll have to wait for next week then. Uh, poor Victor. He orders it, expecting it in 50 minutes, and it takes a full freaking week. <laughs> Okay, but for now, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching, and thank you especially to Kira. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, like I said, uh, Darksiders next week. Tomorrow, I have four games prepped already for Something Sunday. So, as usual, until then, until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for the slime on your bed. I would I would buy a slime plushie if I could find any. Later's. Later.